watching Bianca Renee today and today we are going to get in the Christmas spirit. Christmas is right around the corner so that means we're gonna have some Christmas shopping to do. Now this video is going to be about how to spruce up your gifts. I'm gonna show you how spending a few extra dollars can make your simple gift look fabulous. So today I'm gonna show you how to make two really easy gift baskets. One is going to be the gift of curl. The gift of no frizz, what every curly girl wants. So let's say you buy them the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie or maybe the Diva Curl Super Cream, my two favorites. So I mean, you could just wrap this up or you know, just slap a bow on it and be like, hey, Merry Christmas, but it just looks so minimal, you know? Or let's say you gave your friend a DVD, like, I don't know, off the top of my head, every Beyond Grenade Today video ever created. Okay, fine, realistically, you could give your friend their favorite DVD. So you got their DVD, once again, you could slap a bow on there and be like, Merry Christmas, but it just, it just looks so, it's just there, you know, whatever. So, I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me. We're gonna go to the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna find some ways to spruce up our gifts. So I've got my holiday Christmas sweater on, so let's do some Christmas shopping. Alrighty, I've never been to this 99 cent store before, so that way, you know, if I look crazy for talking to myself, I'll never see these people again. Okay, now we're gonna do our movie date night Netflix and chill type gift. So look at these cute little popcorn boxes. These are going to be perfect. We need one of those. And we can get some movie theater popcorn. And then, depending on who the gift is for, just think about some of their favorite candy and snacks. Mike and Ike's? You like Mike and Ike's? Where your boyfriend at? You got a boyfriend? Okay, so let's start off with a curly hair type basket. So we're gonna need a microfiber towel so you don't create frizz by using a regular towel. And it'd also be nice to have a bunch of shower caps for our day two, day three, three, and day four hair. Now honestly, these little hair bands have been really good for putting my hair into a pineapple at night, so we're gonna get some of those. Always need bobby pins, because we lose them. We don't know where they go, but we always need more. And let's see. We're gonna need some hair ties, because these are also unfaithful, and they will break on you. Alrighty, I think we found some pretty good things, so now let's go home, and I'm gonna show you how to make it a little cuter. All right, now that we're back from the 99 cent store on the Dollar Tree, let's start making our gift basket. I have been a big fan of gift baskets, probably because my mom and my aunt had their own business called Basket Biz, shout out to Basket Biz, where you realize that just putting things in a basket with a nice pretty bow on it just makes everything look so much better. I do this for like all birthdays, baby showers, and when I walk in with this big old basket, everybody automatically thinks I have the best gift, even though they don't even know what's inside of it yet. It's all about presentation. So, I have this cute little Santa basket from the 99 cent store. So now that we have our basket, let's cut off the tag so nobody knows that we actually only spent 99 cents. And then we would usually fill this up with like mush paper, like at the bottom of Easter baskets. But of course, because I wanted to film this video, the 99 cent store was out. So, I just bought some things from Amazon, so I'm gonna use some bubble packaging. Perfect. And one less. So now I have a little bit of my fluff. If you don't have any type of bubble wrap, you also could use newspaper. Newspaper is kind of becoming extinct, so I don't have any of that either. But if you could just have some type of fluff, that's what you're going to need at the bottom of your basket. I'm gonna use some of this little snow stuff that they also had. I don't have to cut this. I can rip this so much easier. Okay, there's our snowy little patch. Let's say we're gonna give away the Diva Curl Super Creams. So this is gonna be our, our focal point. But we have so many other cute things to add in our basket. Now I am gonna open this because this looks like you got it from the 99 cent store. We don't want people to know. And I also got this cute little basket from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna put it inside of there because that just looks, you know, cuter. Oh, there's a lot of these. You can never get enough shower caps. I use these 
on the daily. Okay, now we got our bag. Now let's get our microfiber towel because that's important. This is a little yellow one. I'm also gonna take out the little flexi rods. Get these little hair ties. <gasps> I know what to do. I'm actually gonna take the flexi rods and put these around them. There we go. Flexi rods and our hair ties. Bobby pins, how can we make the bobby pins look a little bit cuter? Maybe we can't. So we're just gonna cut off the name. And I'm just gonna stick this right here in the front. And I bought the cute little vanity mirror, because why not? Am I doing this backwards? Of course I am. <laughs> Let's move everything. Ta-da! There is our beautiful curly hair essential gift basket. Okay, so now that our basket is cute and fabulous, we're now going to wrap it in cellophane. Cellophane is just this like clear type of wrapping paper, basically. So we're gonna put this in the middle, and then you wanna raise it so you have some height. Beautiful. And now we need some ribbon. Ooh. Luckily, I have a million balloons lying around from my 100K video. Whoa, come back. Doesn't matter what color, you just need some type of string to hold it in place. So I'm actually gonna turn my basket so that the back is going to be pushing this up like this. We're just gonna bring up the sides. So you just wanna scrunch it all together. We can get back in there and make it cute. Once again, now I'm gonna get my string and you're just gonna tie a knot. And now we're gonna get some pretty ribbon. The ribbon is the icing on the cake. So it's best if you get the really thick ribbon that has like the wire so you could bend it on the end. Amazing, beautiful hair care gift basket. Now for your next gift, it could be something as simple as a DVD. Or we could dress it up and make it an epic movie night basket. So I have my popcorn box that I found at the dollar store that I love and this is gonna be perfect. And now I need some more raffia newspaper stuffing. There you go. I also got some sparkly garland. I'm just gonna keep it in a pile. Oh, yes! Look how cute that looks already. Look, it's overflowing with fabulousness. So now we have your friend's favorite movie, right? But now it wouldn't be a movie night without some popcorn, so we're gonna slide the popcorn in there. Keep the gummy bears for yourself. We're also gonna put in some of our favorite snacks, like maybe some Sour Patch, some Skittles, some Junior Mints. You know, things you get at the movie theater and pay $100 for, but these are all 99 cents. We're gonna get some tape, and I'm gonna tape these up higher to each other. There we go. And just like that, you created a beautiful movie night Christmas basket. And now we're just gonna wrap it just like we did our first basket. Boom, beautiful. So for what, five, seven dollars? You just made your gift look so epic and so thoughtful and they're gonna love it. So here are my two completed gift baskets. I have my hair care package. You could put hair products. I wish I would have bought the hair picks, bobby pins, scrunchies, mirrors, flexi rods, all things that you might need if you have curly hair, or you can make it towards whatever type of hair you have. You can make it a beauty basket, put some nail polish, some lipstick, eyelashes, all things you could find at the 99 cent store. And then you have your movie basket. If you wanna spend a little bit more money, you could put maybe a blanket in here, you could put some wine, depending on the person. You know, just make it really personal for whoever you're buying the gift for. If you go to like TJ Maxx, Ross, Costco, they have those huge elaborate baskets, but then when people get them, it has a lot of stuff that you don't 
usually like, they're always like some dry crackers, some weird types of cheese, some dried fruits that you didn't even know could be dried, and they end up either re-gifting your basket or throwing a lot of the stuff away. But if you take the time to put in things that you know they actually like and love, it's gonna make it so much better. So that concludes my 99 cent store Christmas gift shopping video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.